Hey, David Harbor here, Virginia State Broker for EXP Realty, the nation's first cloud-based real estate brokerage. We are here with Louis Vega, our newest addition to the EXP family. Louis is somebody who is in the Arizona area and has recruited hundreds upon hundreds of people in his previous brokerage. Hey, Louis. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Listen, what we're doing is we're interviewing people within the EXP family, and this is a few minutes with Louis Vega. So why don't you give us a quick snapshot of your previous real estate experience prior to coming to EXP and your experience with teams specifically? Well, uh, I started in 2003 um, with, a, with a mortgage company. That mortgage company went from $0 to doing over $3 billion a year in, 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 in four, or five, four or five years. Um, I built uh, a team, personal team of over a thousand loan officers nationwide, over 17 branches. Uh, had um, you know uh, about a few hundred realtors. We launched a real estate company in 2005, uh, and in in 2008, that uh, unfortunately the the mortgage industry were originating about 5,000 loans a month, and uh, in in that that company just just had a you know, it just went went to the west side like uh, most most mortgage companies in that year. Uh, that put me in a dilemma. I couldn't find anything to match the income that I had built. At times, my 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 residual income from my team was over thirty thousand a month. I went and looked at at Exit Keller, uh, you know, a, a several of the team building companies that were out there, and nobody had a model that that could quite get me to that point. Or give me that type of unlimited opportunity. In 2009, I I, I partnered up with uh, with a former uh, good friend of mine and someone I worked with and respect a lot in a startup franchise brand. Um, and we we started that company. I I took I took ownership of the Southwest region. And in the Southwest region, me and my partners uh, sold sold nine franchises and brought over 500 agents to that region within a within a three year period. So we're pretty proud of our accomplishments. Um, I had sold my equity in that company about probably about five months ago, six months ago, and I I continued on the on the vision of having a a, a team of over 30,000 agents um, worldwide, and uh, I I started developing a technology platform for our team in order to be lead, leading them through technology in several states, and and to kind of enhance and and and. You know, focusing on marketing, on sales, and recruiting to help the agents on our team be successful. And at the same time, I run into EXP. Uh, they, uh, Glenn, and the, and and the team at EXP have been have implemented, and we're doing exactly what I was trying to build. So instead of trying to build it, I said, well, why not join someone that knows what they're doing, and uh, and let me focus on what I'm good at, which is marketing, sales, and team leadership development. Well, it, th there you go. Now, you've had some experience through uh, all different types of markets. Uh, where do you see the landscape of what's happening within the real estate industry? Because out in your area, there have been a number of brokerages that have gone under, imploded, if you will, because they had tremendous overhead. Where do you see the, the traditional brick-and-mortar uh, real estate industry going? Well, the, the one thing, uh, it, being, a, being a, an owner of a region, uh, for a franchise organization, you know, one of our our main responsibilities was selling franchises, and to do that, I talked to several brokers. I, vi I visited them in their offices, talked to them about their problems, looked at their financial statements, and uh, you know, I you know, there's one thing knowing an agent, but knowing an owner that's in business, uh, even us as owning our own franchise, you know, our overhead was twelve thousand a month. And and you know it was about 30, we needed about 35 agents just to break even, and I was you know carrying salaries, paying the rent. This was no with no thrills and thrills or no no support no no extra support for the agents. So the agents you know pretty much you're you're worried about paying your bills, and and then and then whatever you can do for someone else is 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 the best, and that, and that's the that's the mentality I saw with most brokerages out there, is that their main concern is that they want to. Uh, you know, keep paying their bills. They want to keep doing things. The 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 funny thing is, is that they're stubborn. Why do they continue to have those big offices? Uh, you know, 5,000, 10,000 square feet, uh, just to look good. You know, big signs. Uh, you know, agents are out talking to people out in the streets. They're selling homes. They're they're out in yards. They're 
they're they're they're driving customers around and I, I, I mean, I, I, I see that an agent has no business in an office because they have phones, they have laptops, they have, uh, you know, everything that they need to, to, to be in business wherever they want to be in business. Um, That's but the, the coffee's good, right? right? <laughs> yeah, I love, I love Starbucks. That's my, my nat- That's my national headquarters for the past nine years in Starbucks. So, so where I see brokerages at are right now is that they're dying. They're, 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 uh, you know, the, the, the veterans that are out there that have been in the business 15, 20, 30 years are killing it. They continue to try to do things the same old way. And then they come in and they get new, you know, technology that's three or four or five years behind and they're excited and they think they're, they're doing it, they're doing a new way, a new, a new thing or whatever, but they're still five years behind a company like EXP. They're drowning themselves in debt. The, the agents are getting less and less. I mean, I've seen P&Ls that, that would scare you. Uh, we did a 350 agent merger in Arizona, and, and uh, you know, the, the, it, was, it was horrible. There was a $10,000 net profit, um, and, you know, to that one particular broker. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, it's, it's the, the writing's on the wall. A new, something new has to come. Something has to give life to this great industry. Uh, and and I think EXP is the the vehicle to do that for. Yeah, I mean to piggyback on what you just said, we've seen a paradigm shift even with buyers and sellers in technology, where they know more about a lot of homes than most agents know apps and geotagging and uh, being able to do IDX searches right off of their phone and iPad. It seems as that uh, the traditional brick and mortar brokerages have kind of stayed status quo. Um, which is which is interesting. It, it is. I mean, uh, they. Uh, you know, I, I I came from a technology background in 1994. We, you know, I worked with a company that was very innovative, and and we were paperless back then. Uh, in 2003, when I came into the mortgage industry and and into the real estate industry, I was blown away. I said, "What in the world is going on with all this paper?" Uh, you know, I have never seen stacks of paper like that. Actually, paper gives me a nausea and it gives me a headache. <laughs> And, and, and I, I couldn't believe it. Um, I know the power of technology. I've, know, I, I've been in software. I know what software can do. And, and, and I'm glad that someone out there had the vision and had the guts to be different and to bring in technology and use it the way it's supposed to be used. And, and another thing is it's not, you shouldn't be intimidated if you're an agent. This is very simple. It's like a, it's like a supercharged conference call. call. Uh, it's an environment. It's a lot easier than, t- than getting up and driving your car, getting gas, and, and staying 30 minutes in traffic. Believe me. And, well, and, mm-hmm. it, and it's, it's incredible about the dissemination of information, too, with EXP having almost five, 15 live training classes every week. I mean, a traditional brokerage couldn't even imagine having that. No, there's no way. And another thing is, is that when the, when the traditional brokerages do have training classes, our, our, you know, when we used to have uh, events, we would say that that 10% of, you know, we'd send, you know, you have 100 agents, uh, 50% or 35% say it would show up. That means that 10% of the overall number would end up being at that meeting. Um, and 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 most of the, and and actually the communication was fragmented. It was decentralized. It was horrible. And with with the way that EXP operates, I mean, I think that you guys have, uh, EXP has probably a 50 to 80 percent attendance ratio on their classes. The the message is getting delivered. Uh, I, I call EXP in, intelligence at the speed of light. It, it, that's it, that's it, that's a it, good it, reference. It's it, it's incredible the collaboration I've seen. I've grown a lot just being here a few weeks. Uh, I, well, I, I can't imagine that. Well, that, that, le- that leads me to my wrong. next question is now that you've uh, experienced a little bit under the EXP umbrella, how do you feel that EXP is positioned for the future? Uh, I didn't mean EXP, to step on you there. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. EXP, I feel, is is the, the next biggest brand in real estate. It will be a worldwide brand. I, I see in the next 12 months that EXP will get to 1,000 agents, uh, hopefully more. The momentum's there, the platform's there. The past three years of, of building building the the machine is done. Now it's up to the agents to take advantage of it. 
I'm certainly here to take advantage of it. I know that in the next 12 months, we'll, my team personally will have over 250 agents. Uh, just, just this past week, we opened up Houston, Texas, Arizona, Maricopa County, Southern California, Orange County, San Jose County, and and we're and you know I've talked to someone in North Carolina today in Southern Florida, so I'm taking advantage of it. Uh, I see EXP going in in the next five years, being in several different countries in the next 12 months, maybe Canada, Mexico, other countries that Glenn's talked about, and I, I want to be right in that front of front of that train. I want to you know want to be the leader and uh, and build a huge huge team internationally and I think uh, for the agents that are listening to this interview is, is don't limit yourself you're a business person you pay for your marketing you pay for your, your you know you, you pay for your gas you you fight for your commissions you you earn what you what you make and you should be making a lot more there's no agent out there that should li should have any limitations set on them you should limit yourself to a neighborhood to a to a <coughs> to a city, to a state. You should be able to dream and build as big as you want. And think of EXP the way, the way I look at EXP is that, that it's my, it's kind of, it's a tool. I, I'm, I'm building my business as, a, as, a, as an agent and, and, and EXP is giving me the platform and the tool and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and I guess the highway in order for me to, to drive on and, and get to where I need to go. Wow, that that's that's inspiring. And this is from somebody who's actually been in the trenches recruiting hundreds of agents to hear you with that kind of excitement about EXP is fantastic. With our technology, the highest revenue share plan in the business, and the ability to actually spread this message to our agents instantaneously is what positions us. So there you go. There's a few minutes with Louis Vega, the newest addition to the EXP family. Thanks for your time, Louis. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. And if you're interested in learning more about the power of EXP, whether you're an agent or a broker, click on the link below or give us a call today to find out about opportunities in your state. We'll see you on the cloud.